Hello. You just finished listening to your regularly, regularly scheduled episode of Did You Hear Me? And now we're here with a bonus. Uh, at the end of that episode, I'm joined for a Thanksgiving special by the special agent, <laughs> Raytron, and Bali, a.k.a. Annabelle the Destroyer, a.k.a. Enable, a.k.a. Mini Sleazy, a.k.a. Annabelle Lecter. Uh, we're just here to fill you in on a few things that uh, we don't normally cover on the main show. we got a different age group here. Raytron is, how old are you? Fifteen. Mm. <laughs> and Bali, how old are you? Um, twelve. About to be? Thirteen. Next, uh, well, almost a month from now, a little over a month from now. And uh, special agent, a little older than that? Yeah, about 29. All the time. 29 every year. It's a good age. So uh, we just got back from the Georgia volleyball game. What y'all think? Yeah, what y'all think about that? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Who won? Georgia, obviously. Obviously. Well, the people don't know. If people didn't go, you got to give them some information. Who they play? Uh... I forgot. Oh, no, good. Good Missouri. analysis. There we go. The Missouri Tigers. They look like they uh, may be a little scared of the sunshine down here in the south. Like they hadn't seen it in a while. A lot of white legs out there. Yeah. Those short shorts. Uh, not a fan of the uniforms. I don't know why they have to wear such short shorts. you have any input? I like them. Okay. All right. Good deal. Um Volleyball's fun. It's the second one I've been to this year. They're a good time. A lot, a lot of action. Not a, a lot of uh, stoppage, which is uh, basketball can uh, get a little boring sometimes because all the TV timeouts and stops and basketball, I mean, uh, volleyball is very fast-paced. Would y'all agree? Yep. Man, thank y'all for the input. This is... Uh, oh, you're welcome. This is a really good analysis here. You're so welcome. Yeah. So, uh, what's your uh, favorite UGA sport you've been to? Football. Yeah, football. Football, yeah. Um, so we're just, uh, as we're recording this, we're getting pretty close to kickoff. Georgia, Georgia Tech. Got any uh, analysis for us on that? Georgia's going to win. Yeah, I agree. That's my analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, by how many? Um, I don't know. Good, good answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I don't know either. I think it's going to be a lot. So, yeah. uh, uh, so Raytron and Bali live down in the Jacksonville, Florida area. Uh, you want to make sure everybody's aware who's from that area that's playing tonight? What's his face? Um, yep. There you go. Do <laughs> you remember his name? Wait, what is his name? <laughs> Do you know what position he plays? Um, quarterback, right? There you go. And he, I just forgot his name. Yeah, and as the sheriff likes to call him, the extraterrestrial. Uh, do you think he's attractive? I don't even know what he looks like. Oh, my goodness. Um, have you watched the game no. this year? I have, but I don't pay attention to what the people look like. He's not. He's not. Uh, mm. The sheriff says he has an alien head. An I'm, alien I may have head. said that first, but I don't know. We both agree. He alien is definitely head. not attractive. I mean, you know, um, when he gets that NFL contract, or actually probably right now he's making enough money in his NIL deal to be kind of attractive. Mm. It's a no for me. Okay, well. Just putting it out there. Sometimes you gotta look beyond the ter extraterrestrial. Carson head. Beck is that his name? Wow! Well, <laughs> into the mic. Carson Beck. Welcome, welcome to the show, Raytron. Uh, we're glad you could join us. You're we did have a drink of the week, um, or a junior drink of the week, but they're all gone because um, from because the time Starbucks it, is too good. Yeah, from the time it took us to get from Starbucks to the house, which is I don't know four point three miles. Uh, both drinks are pretty much gone, just slurpage now. Yeah, you just gotta chug it down. Do you yeah. want to tell them what you both drank? Strawberry acai, lemonade, no strawberries. Um, I got a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. It's so good. Boom. So basically, uh, sugar drink one and sugar chocolate drink number two. With, but, mine's with better. extra chocolate on top. There you go. Um, sounds, sounds healthy. Uh, since y'all live down there in the Florida area, who's who's a worse fan, the Florida Gator fans or the Seminole fans? Both. Well, since we're Georgia fans, the Gators are worse to us. Okay. But I don't really know. I think you just answered the question. Oh, that's true. So I think you do know. <laughs> um, do the kids that are Gator fans wear jean shorts to school? No. No, everyone wears short shorts. 
all the guys. So that's the new trend now, short shorts? Yeah, yeah, for the guys and the girls, basically. Short, short as the volleyball player shorts or not a short? Yeah, no, not a short. Like, like, I don't know. That sounds unfortunate. An unfortunate fashion <laughs> trend. Very. Uh, can you tell, can y'all tell the listeners a story of how this podcast came to be? Oh, um, we were at the town center in Florida and he just got out of the car one day and said, oh, I want to start a podcast. It was very random, and Katie was not very happy about it. Special Agent was not very happy about oh, it. Oh, <laughs> man. Following in the Step Monster's footsteps, just blowing people up. Um, yeah, but made dreams come true, and here we are. I uh, just got done recording episode 10 by the time people hear this bonus episode. So, uh, really making a legacy here uh, for our dozens and other dozen of listeners. Why don't y'all tell the listeners what's new in the world of teenagers any movies or any books or any songs the hunger games y'all need to watch that it's good trolls band together oh <laughs> make sure we shout that out to beachside high school and uh no st john's county that raytron is a fan of trolls <laughs> sure they'll be glad to hear that yeah. uh, do you want to give a synopsis of the new hunger games movie um it was good Good. Man, this <laughs> that is, uh... tells everybody exactly what was in it. Good. Um, well, Snow, whenever he was younger, and basically why he doesn't like Katniss, tells okay. that story. Okay. I know even less about it now. So this is good. <laughs> good. Don't, uh, not, not a Hunger Games it's guy. It's just young Snow. He's very good. Who well, is Snow in the series? The president. He's, of... yeah. Right. Well, for those of y'all who know about Hunger Games, go check out Snow as he's younger. And is Peta, is younger Peta. Snow attractive? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Better than uh, Mr. Beck. Okay. So uh, this, is this the blonde-haired guy y'all show me a picture of? Yes. yes. Yeah. But in, oh. but in real life, he's um, a brunette. Oh, in she real life. Okay. Him. Who did he? Who did you say he looked like when he buzzed his hair? Eminem. All right, shout out Eminem. <laughs> he looked just like Eminem whenever he got the buzz cut. Connecting I I started I started laughing in the movie theater. And well, connected the generations because the special agent was a huge fan of Eminem. Still is. I like the, Eminem on the Bluetooth. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, you know. Please. Stand I also up. like Taylor Swift, and I heard that she was dissed on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I did get some grief about the <laughs> comments I made about. Taylor Swift, apparently two Swifties here. What yeah. would y'all like to say about T Sweezy? Her what? songs are amazing. Okay, yeah. no, nah, we're not talking about her songs. Okay, well, we're talking about the that's... relationship between her and okay, Kelsey. The Give relationship, us it, I, I'm not a fan. Not, I liked, why aren't you a fan? Well, because I liked Joe Allen better. Who is Joe Allen? Her ex. Sounds like an accountant, Joe <laughs> Allen. <laughs> no, he was better. Why did you like him better? Well, I don't know. Travis, Kelsey, he, they just don't seem like they, they're they just not it. I, oh. I, I like them. I like them. Yeah, okay. they have a vibe. Yeah. Okay. It's well, like the football player and the singer that makes It's probably because I see it too much. So are y'all really looking forward to the breakup album? Yes. It's no, going to be really good because no, I love listening to her good breakup albums. Yeah, but no. isn't that what all her albums are about? Whatever guy she broke up with? No. Folklore is not. Oh, my gosh. I... <laughs> The good albums are about the bad yeah. relationships. No, Folklore is the good album. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, you've lost me already. <laughs> so, uh, one's, so, Bali, you're a fan of the relationship. You think it's real? I no. think it is. I think it's real. I mean, it's like probably real, but like, it's, I don't know. It's just like weird. Yeah, it's made up. Well, it's not made up. I don't, like, no, it's not made up. Are you I don't sure? Th- I, don't think, I don't think it is. Rayleigh, do you not think that she looks together the two of them look like a more attractive couple than her ex-boyfriend i mean yeah i i guess looks wise i mean like together as a like, couple they they look better together than with well her yeah because she never went in public with the other dude do you think that's a sign mm. what do you mean she was embarrassed of his little why did they why did they not me. go in, per, in public together um i don't know i didn't i don't know <laughs> okay, so you just have these one-line thoughts and no other thoughts about them? Yes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Molly, anything to add on this? No. 
All right. <laughs> there we go. Um, just got done with Thanksgiving this week. Uh, Bali, what was your favorite Thanksgiving uh, dish over the past few days? Um, I liked everything. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, Rachel, you got a favorite? Um, yes. I really liked the apple pie that I helped make. With Shout out to Mimi. No. To Mama oh. Sleazy. That oh, yeah. is her name. Sorry. Hey, yeah, she's got many names to many different people depending on their relationship. So, uh, Mama Sleazy, shout out for the apple pie. Shout out. Going to have some left over tonight because she made two yep. huge ones. We <laughs> yep. got to take some I already home. had a slice this morning. You did. It's a true story. True story. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think mine was uh, probably... Uh, on one dinner, the dressing, the turkey dressing, and on the other dinner was probably, I don't know, it's always good to have some broccoli casserole. I didn't only get have to it that. about once a year, and uh, it's got some cheese that's on the top, so I'm a big cheese. I did fan. not get to that. I did not get to it either. Well, you missed out. It was good. I used to hate it as a child. You did. It was one of your uh, most unfavorite experiences. <laughs> Do you want to tell a story about that? Um. Uh, we made you try it because I made you try a lot of things unsuccessfully. And you were trying to be very nice to Mama Sleazy and said, uh, the worst face ever. It's not my favorite. No. Nope. you were trying to hold back vomit. So, um, it's a failed She experiment. was at least polite about saying polite. she disliked it. She was. She was. But, um, she's missing out because it's good. And that was a long time ago, so your taste buds changed. And now yeah. I'm giving you, uh, fatherly advice on the podcast that'll be recorded. Oh, yay. You can go back and listen to it years from now. Cute. <laughs> That's a treasure. It's a treasure. I have a question for Raytron. Uh, go yes. ahead. <laughs> Do your friends like your podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do they do they listen? I don't know if any of them listen. Do they know about it? Yes. What do they say? Uh they kind of laugh about it. I will I might show them this. You may? I may. Have you been made fun of for your father's <laughs> podcast? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Off some, limits, okay. There were some allegations of some bullying going on. Oh my with, gosh. With some clips of the podcast being used <laughs> against uh, Raytron in the in the uh, battlefields of ninth grade at oh my gosh. Beachside High School. No. Uh, you want to give a shout out to your football team? They did pretty well this year. Yeah, they did do good. Or do you not care? A social event, right? Oh, uh, it was a social event. I went and I hung out and I paid attention for about 10 minutes and then I'd just walk around. But you know their final record, which was what? Um, They lost one game. I don't know how many games they played, but they lost one. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good record for Beach Side. Only second year in existence down there in St. John's County. What do you uh, do, Bali, during the games? I take pictures. Yeah. Uh, way ahead of her time, because that's supposed to be a high schooler's job, but she's a uh, middle schooler stepped up because they were slacking. We'll, we'll say that much. She had to fill in the void. Did a good job with it. Well, Very no, proud. No, that's not actually what happened. Okay, all right. Go ahead and tell us. They didn't have enough people to take pictures there, so same, I helped. Same yeah. thing I just said, just in different words. So uh, it sounded a lot better when I said it. <laughs> no, I think it was better when I said it. Okay, well, can we'll let you, the listeners decide. Can you tell the people what this phone cover that you have says? <laughs> oh, mine? Yeah. What does it say? Oh, it says, um, so my turn pretty, and it's, I'm Team Jeremiah. Okay. Yeah. Are you a different team, Raytron? Um, well, I'm kind of Team Anti-Belly right at the moment, because I don't, true. I don't watch that show anymore because it just made me angry. Well, the book is, I'm Team Conrad, because he was nicer to her, but in the show, I'm Team Jeremiah. Okay, so for those who don't know, The Summer I Turned Pretty is a book series and a TV series. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay. And can you say who, what does it mean to be Team Jeremiah or Team Anti-Belly? Well, but they're in a love triangle. It's two brothers and Belly, and Belly just wants to create drama. But y'all aren't old enough for this. Um, yeah, yes we are. No, no you're not. Yeah. Does anything in the books or the movie represent what you've experienced in real life? No. <laughs> so it, it feels all Hollywood. That it does. That, that's just, the point of a TV series. Right, I'm just basically. asking. It, it's just pure entertainment, right? Yes. yes. There's no, you don't have anybody at your high school that's like in a love triangle. No. I don't or your middle school. No. No? Okay. All right. Well, 
I uh, think y'all are too young for that. Uh, sounds like a made up mess. I did watch one episode with y'all and I was utterly confused. And, Jared! Yeah, just, just like a Yeah, bad... they slept on like a golf course or something <laughs> well, ridiculous. That's, not, that's just because their house was taken away from them. Again, like... this is the, the plot The plot yeah. here is unbelievable. It got wild. Um, I didn't for... even watch the last episode. I was supposed to watch at my friend's house and we just turned it off because she, the girl just gets on my nerves like, like, first of all, no. first of all, the show is about high schoolers, is that correct? Um, well, the, yeah. two of them are in college. Okay, they all look like they're 47. Uh, okay, right. no, the people they're they all cast in their are way early too old. No, that's just because in real life they're like in their Well, 20s. that's outer banks that are people in like the 30s. It's the same thing. No, they're not the same thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. of the current uh, young people dramas, what, what would y'all say is your favorite? Like out of movies or TV shows? Either. Like, what, what are you most interested in? I don't know. I watch a lot of different stuff. I like Outer Banks. I can't yeah. wait for season four. Mm -hmm. What's the movie you said you you watch a bunch that we talked about yesterday? Oh, I watch A Normal Homes. Yeah. Oh, yes. A Normal Homes. It helps me go to sleep. Do you want to tell the listeners what that is? It's no, it sounds like another drama or something. Okay, no. It's Sherlock Holmes' sister. Little sister? Little sister, yes. And what does she become? A detective. Yes. Wow, we've got some really solid uh, reviews for things that are unbelievable to watch. Yes. So that's good. I hope I'm glad y'all enjoy it. Um, I don't want to keep y'all up here too long. They were. Uh, let me ask you this. We'll we'll kind of end on this note. On a scale of one to ten, how excited were you to be on the podcast? We'll let Raytron go first. Um, maybe like a four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bali. I was a negative. Zero. <laughs> well, no, that's actually not a number. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, probably zero out of ten. Okay. I was not very excited to go on this. Okay. And now that you've been on the podcast and we're, we're getting towards the end of your segment here because uh, we already made a deal. I wasn't going to come up here very long. Well, I don't care if I bring it up. Well, we've already made the deal. Um, how many friends are you going to tell that you were on it? Zero. And Raytron? The people that I've already told. Okay. Well, one of your child. friends follows the show on Instagram. What's going to happen when I upload the clip of you talking? <laughs> Are you going to go viral at your school? Probably not. <laughs> Screen record yeah. sent to oh all. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, just wanted to uh, you know, gauge that excitement. So I you heard it so here. I'm so excited. Have some excited uh, participants here. So I hope everybody enjoyed the bonus episode. Oh, did you hear me? Uh, of the little walk, the little sleazies. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we appreciate y'all being on. And we'll forever have this, and so will your friends. <laughs> uh, video and audio, they will have. Just want to let you know that. That's great. Okay. Um, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hopefully, the dogs win here. Um, by the time you hear this, hopefully, we're celebrating a uh, dog win of the jackets. And. Uh, We'll see how the playoffs shakes out and look forward to the SEC Championship next week. Catch up. Did you hear me? Uh, check us out on Instagram. Don't forget about getting a shirt. Uh, Ray trying to decline the shirt uh, <laughs> because she said it would become uh, lost in her closet. <laughs> and Bali reluctantly I mean, took a shirt and said, I mean, said, would you rather I me guess. have a shirt that I'm never going to wear or just give it back and, you know, you, uh, can, you can give it to people that actually want the shirt. No one is going to wear that shirt. 